Dave, uh, got a pretty good response from your team in the third period tonight. Uh, dominant period. Well, I thought we got back to playing the way that uh, we were going to have to play to give ourselves a chance to win. You know, for 40 minutes, you know, we didn't play, we didn't skate, we stood around and watched, and you know, when we're not skating, we're not a very effective team. Did you suggest that uh, the Royals took the uh, Tigers' record uh, for granted and, and didn't skate? For I wouldn't say that at all. I think that uh, you know they came, they played hard, and and. Uh, we have to remember, right, non-conference game on a Tuesday night after a big emotional weekend. We knew that there was going to be a chance for that. And, you know, our guys say, I give them credit, they found a way to keep it close and they found a way to win in the third. Uh, closing is always important. You always speak to me. you got to close strong and you got to be happy with the way the guys, like you said, close strong. Well, I didn't like the first 40 minutes. No, no, I've been close. Oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, you know, I like the way that we were able to stay with it and the way that we started and the way that we played in the third. What changes in the second remission? Is something you said the dressing room or something in the team set the dressing room? I think the leadership group stepped up and took charge. You know, they, they know that we have certain standards and for us to be successful we have to play to them and for 40 minutes we weren't playing to the level that we have to play to give ourselves a chance to win. So uh, Joe Hickens um, stood up uh, as per usual while he's gone for uh, team camp and the selection camp. Uh, looking forward to step up. The rest of the defensemen and our whole team. You know, I think the big thing is is lessons should have been learned last year that he, he's an important part. And when when he's not here, it's just like when he was injured. Guys have to take advantage of opportunities that are going to be presented for them. And, you know, there's going to be lots of power play time. There's going to be lots of time against the other team's top players, and it's going to be penalty killing minutes that are available. So it's up to the individuals to to earn it and show that they deserve are deserving of it. Uh, power play, uh, especially in the third period, looks like it's uh, carried on for the weekend. Yeah, you know what, for, for the first 40 minutes, you know, five, five on five and power play, they go hand in hand, right? And if you're not very good five on five, you can't really expect a power play to be tearing apart a game. And I thought we started skating, we started moving pucks, we started attacking, and you know, we, we got one at the end. What was behind the uh, line changes in the second there? You, you juggled your lines up a little bit towards the end of the period. Is that just because there's a couple of penalties? Or? No, it's because I didn't like the way some guys were playing. You know, I thought that uh, you take two unnecessary penalties, you don't deserve to continue to play. And that's part of our standards, right? Guys, guys are held accountable. And if you can go out and take needless penalties and continue to take needless penalties and continue to get ice time, you'll never learn. Cool. Thank you. Okay.